What you need to set up your Spiker Box will be in this handout titled Setting Up Your Neuron Spiker Box, which will be in your curriculum under Lesson 2. So the first thing on this uh, handout is a list of everything you'll need. Everything should be included in this nice box. This is this box for the Spiker Box Pro. So take out each item individually. So you should have one Spiker Box that looks just like this. Two electrode pins, a blue USB cable, a green smartphone cable, one red stimulation cable, a battery which should be in your spiker box. If it's not in your spiker box, make sure to insert it right there, right in the back of it. Um, one cockroach which is currently an SSI. The speaker, which we will provide for you, it's uh, called the AYL speaker. An aux splitter, we'll need this to stimulate uh, the cockroach via audio as well as connect it to the speaker. And in addition, some toothpicks and a scissor, as well as a laptop for uh, the Spike Box recording app. What you want to do is you want to anesthetize the roach by putting it into ice water. So you find wherever its home is and you're going to just dump it in the ice water. So if it's just like this, you can open the container and just pour it in like that. And it's always good to have a book handy to put right on top to make sure that the roach doesn't squirm out or anything. And then it should stay in there for a few minutes just to make sure it's not moving at all to make it really easy to pull off that leg. Okay, so once you have your roach anesthetized, you're gonna to wanna to take it out of the ice and you're gonna to wanna to pull off one of its back legs. So when you pull it off one of the back legs, you wanna start from the inside and pinch it and pull it off in one motion. So take it out of the ice. I'll go back here and I'll just like that. See? Once it is like this, you're going to want to put the leg right on the spiker box. And it's important to put it on the edge of the spiker box so it is able to move freely once it is stimulated. So if you see right there, it's right on the edge and uh, the leg with the kind of furry parts are hanging off. And that's what we're going to see moving once it gets stimulated. So now using the electrode pins, you're going to put it each one in this wider part of the leg. So you're going to put one right at the knee and it's good to start with the knee to stabilize it. So holding down with one finger, or if you have tweezers, you could stabilize the leg with tweezers. You're gonna put one right in the center of the knee. And make sure the pin goes into the cork. And you're going to use the other in the back of the leg. And also make sure it goes into the cork. Once you have that in, uh, set up, you can plug the cable that's attached to it right into your spiker box. Now that you're done uh, setting up the leg itself, you can take off your gloves uh, to do the additional parts of the experiment. So once the electrodes are attached to the leg of the cockroach, you're going to want to turn on the spiker box. You'll hear that sound. You can turn it up all the way. And then you'll want to plug, use the blue USB cable Plug it into the back of the spiker box, right there. And then plug the USB into your laptop or whatever device you're using to uh, use the spiker box recorder. So, once it is in, uh, you're now listening to the electrons firing. So uh, with your students, you'll have them blow on the leg, you'll touch it with a, uh, Q-tip and that will 
use it to fire. So now I already have the Sparker Box op recorder open. You'll have it open on your computer as well. There's instructions for downloading it in your curriculum. So at first you'll see this and there's just a lot of noise here. So if you look on the side, you can make it, uh, you can zoom in or out. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Or I could zoom in a little bit. But one of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the USB icon. You're going to click on that. And you see now you have two lines here. You're going to want to go to the configuration icon and go to hide channel 2. And you can just make it black so it'll be the same color as the screen. So then you'll only be getting channel 1, which is what you'll be looking for. Then you can just go back. So now, see, we just have the one line. And uh, like I said, you can make it wider or smaller. In addition, you could a, uh, make a threshold by clicking on this button and then raising or lowering this line. And that'll uh, give you a threshold for when you'll see a response. So if the threshold's up there, you'll only see a response when it goes that high. Um, after you've tested to make sure that the spike recorder is working, you could actually unplug the blue USB cable because your students will be doing that as part of their experiment. And now we are going to just test to make sure the audio signal is working. So to set up the audio signal, the first thing you want to do is you want to find your red stimulation cable and it'll have two clips attached to it. To, and the clips have hooks at the end. And you access these hooks by pressing the buttons at the top, red circular buttons that they release the clips. Using each of the clips, you'll attach the clips to the electrodes, just like this. And you can actually turn off your spiker box at this point. And then using the splitter that we've provided, as well as your speaker, you'll plug the red stimulation cable into one half of the splitter and the speaker into the other half. Remember to turn your speaker on. We do this so we could hear the audio that we're playing from our uh, device. So using a mobile device, a cell phone or whatever music player you have, you plug that into the third end of the splitter. And then starting at a low volume, because we don't want to uh, overstimulate the leg uh, at first, you'll start playing a song. I chose Come Together by the Beatles. So you'll start playing it, and at first, you might not hear anything. Raise the volume a little bit. Now you could hear it coming from the speaker. No stimulation so far in the leg, but if you raise the volume a little more, you should see some stimulation. 